Hello everyone, this is Carlos from computer-fix.co.uk and today I'll be showing you how to burn files or folders onto CD or DVD. Basically all the software that I'll be using is freeware and it's called Image Burn. You can get it directly from the author's website and I will be showing you how to do that as well. So you just go into Google and type IMG B U R N and click enter. You'll be presented with the first link which is www.imageburn.com. You just click on the download and you will come to the Image Burn website. Uh, the latest version is 2.5.7.0 at the time of recording this video. And you just click on one of these links here. So just click click on the first one and then when you come to this site you click on click here to download and there you go you've got the download link so you just click on this little arrow uh, next to the save button and click save as and save it to download okay that is done it's very small so um, it's not like you're going to wait ages even if you're on the slow connection so that's completed now now all you need to do is close all these down, computer, and then going into Windows, Users, your username, and then Downloads. Okay, so here we have the program. I've already got this program installed, but I'm just going to go through the motions to show you exactly how to do it. So you just double click on the setup, Image Burn 2.5.7.0, and run okay so now you're presented with the setup wizard you just click on next and then accept the terms of the licensing agreement and then click next in here you can choose what you want to install you want to install to for old users icons and shortcuts anything else I normally don't do it uh, but it's up to you you decide um, these, these are just um, bloatware so don't don't install that and um, research settings is um, not advisable especially if you've already got the program installed because obviously that's erase is going to erase all the settings that you you've selected although to burn uh, folders or files you don't really need to select any settings you just leave everything as standard okay so you just go next and then choose where you want your pro program to be installed and you just go next and next I never install this this is just rubbish so you untick that that and that and then you just go next and then it's extracting and you can see the process if you click um, that so it's, it's just basically taken to, to the image burn website again thank you for installing image burn and that's it just close that down and what you're going to do is you're going to run image burn leave that box ticked and click finish okay so the program looks like this and um, you're going to click write files or folders to the disk just click on that one so basically now it's up to you if you want to um, do a whole folder or just a single file. I'm going to show you how to do a single file and I'm going to go through the motions as I've got um, DVD-RW in my drive so I can erase it um, but you will have to choose if you want to just uh, burn a file or you want to burn a whole folder say you example you've got a, a folder full of pictures or videos and you want to burn that, that folder then you will need to click this icon here I'm just going to burn one file so I'm going to click the top one so I'm just going to pick up this um, video and now it's actually analyzing um, how much of the disk space is going to take this file uh, and now really there's nothing else apart from clicking on this this will start you up the burning process so you just click on this and your burning process will start 
you will not get this. This is just because I've got a uh, DVDRW in my drive to uh, explain to you exactly what the process is going to be like and what screens you're going to be facing. When you click that button, there it will just stop burning and doesn't that will not come up with this message. Um, I'm going to continue. Name your DVD. All of the files you've got inside say video um, of laptop this is what your DVD is going to be called um, and you just go yes and you just click OK okay so now it's going to start burning the actual um, video onto the disk uh, I don't know how long this is going to take uh, it doesn't look like it's going to take long at all so I'm just gonna go through the process until the end and I'll probably will sl speed up the video a little bit it just ejected the drive it needs to um, cycle the tray before verifying as you can see down here uh, so don't be alarmed uh, once it finishes burning uh, it will um, open the tray and close the tray automatically and you will start verifying your disk um, you can opt not to verify by unticking this box here you can't do it right now but you can do it before the burning starts or as it's burning your disk okay and as you've heard that is the completed message and the operation was successfully completed and now you will have uh, the files that you wanted to burn on inside of your disk so you just close down image burn go to your computer and then inside of the disk there is the file well, this concludes our tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.